This is a filleting masterclass in uh, under fairly typical conditions. First thing you need, it, it does help to have a beer. A sharp knife. That's uh, bought from Master Butchers. And thanks to Spence Denny. A good little oil stone. Thanks Spence. And this little gizmo here, which is uh, handed down from son-in-law to father-in-law. And as you can see, a few fish. Neck minnow. Now there's lots of ways of filleting a whiting. But this is uh, quite good if you've got a few to do and if you've got maybe not monster fish. So your first cut is behind the little fin there. You go right down like that. Then you twist the knife, you hear it twist, okay? And then you go straight along cutting through the backbone. All the way to the tail. Whoa. Flip the fish over. And do the same here. You hear it click through the rib cage and then you run the knife as close as you can to the backbone, all the way to the tail, like that. Now, you should end up with just about transparent, see, no waste there. If you go snapper fishing, you can keep the head for snapper bait, apparently. Snapper haven't worked out that <laughs> the rest of the fish isn't attached to the head. This is where this little thing comes in, you could use a fork I suppose, okay. Can you see that? Now, because you've got this little bit of rib cage left there. You just go like that. And that's it. You've got one clean fillet. Beautiful clean fillet. You do the same on the other side. That saves a lot of fiddling around. And as you can see, I didn't do this one as well. But there you go. I'm not a brilliant filleter, but that's a good way of filleting, especially smaller, legal, Whiting. Exhausted now. That's it. Next minute, we have dinner and eat them.